Today in Space History for April 14th, today we go back to 1965 and take a look at the Vehicle Assembly Building at Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center. On this day in 1965, the final beam was put in place, completing the steel frame of the building. Originally built to assemble the Saturn V for the Apollo Lunar Program, the building is the largest single-story building in the world. It was the tallest building in Florida until 1974 and is still the tallest building in the United States outside of an urban area. The building was completed in 1966 and was originally called the Vertical Assembly Building. Inside are four bays designed for the assembly of a Saturn V on mobile launchers. The four doors leading to the bays are the largest doors in the world. Each is 456 feet high and take about 45 minutes to open. The building has very powerful air conditioning and ventilation equipment and can replace the entire air in the building in one hour. After the Apollo Lunar Program, the building assembled the Saturn V used for Skylab, as well as the Saturn 1B rockets used for Skylab and the Apollo Soyuz test project. It was then modified and used for the Space Shuttle program through 2011. Here you see the final beam. It was around the Cape area to allow signatures of those working on programs. As you'll see, this beam was installed at the top center of the VAB. Construction of the building on the coast required making it able to withstand hurricanes and tropical storms. So the foundation consists of 30,000 cubic yards of concrete with over 4,000 steel rods driven 160 feet into the limestone bedrock below. Here's the final beam traveling 525 feet up to the top of the building, and you see in the background the three mobile launchers used for the Saturn V, and the ceremonial topping out of the VAB on this date in 1965, eventually leading to a sparkling clean building to send humans to space for the next 45 years.